Hey folks, Evil Pajamas here with another Civilization 6 video. It's December 2020, so we've just had the new December update, which rolled out the City State Picker. So if you haven't tried out this feature, I would recommend giving it a shot because it allows you to try out some fun strategies with Suzerain bonuses on City States, on some of the City States that you might have just not had randomly pop up in your games. It's pretty simple to use the feature. All you have to do is go to Advanced Setup, and then while you are in this menu, you can just go to Select City States here, and then where it says Everything, you can click on that, and it brings up the City State Selection menu. You can collect, select None or Select All. Now, the selector only forces you to select the uh, the minimum number that you have. So here, I'd only have to select nine. So if you only select nine, you will get those nine exact city states. Or if you only select whatever you set to the maximum, that is what you will get in terms of the exact city state layout. So there will be no no randomness. Well, there'll be randomness in terms of uh, where uh, the city states appear on the map, but you'll get the ones that you selected only. So I mentioned that this gives you an opportunity to try some really fun strategies. So I am going to recommend one that I think is a lot of fun to add to your game, and that is uh, Ayathaya here. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing it that right. But uh, this particular Suzerain bonus gives you culture gain equal to 10% of the construction cost when finishing a building. So if you've never had the opportunity to, to have this in your game, you could queue it up as one of the the city states in your game and only select the the exact number that you are allowing in your game and hopefully you'll get a chance to use this city state and this lets you do some really fun things um, around your strategy because it lets you tech up your civics tree without really having to invest too much into culture so you can adjust your strategy to sort of ig ignore the civic tree a little bit if you want. So I am going to go over a, a quick example of how you can sort of fundamentally change your strategy around uh, getting the suzerainty bonuses of uh, certain city states you select. And um, on this one, I, I'll be going over Ayathaya, which is the one that I mentioned that I, I am a fan of. So in this game, I am playing for Hungary. We're on turn 136, and you can see that I'm generating 44 culture per turn, um, which is uh, quite a bit less than John Curtin, who has the most culture per turn at 116, and 84 and 86, respectively, for uh, China and for uh, Mali. So um, if you look at that now, and if we compare that to the civics tree, you can see that while well, John Curtin's quite a bit ahead, that we're right around here with Poland and just a tad behind in actual civics from uh, China and Mali, even though they're generating almost uh, twice as much culture per turn as me. And that is, that's based upon this uh, suzerainty bonus of gains culture equal to 10% of the construction cost when finishing buildings. So um, you can see that I don't actually have that, that most of my empire does not um, have a lot of culture production. So here's my capital. I, I'm only generating um, the, the buildings that I have here are only generating three. I obviously have modifiers from um, from a population. And because my people are so happy, um, they, I'm getting uh, that bonus from amenities as well. So I'm getting a 20, 20 per turn from the, from the capital, but I haven't really dedicated a lot of, of buildings to that. I'm only getting really three from buildings, and the rest of it is from, uh, from modifiers. So I haven't really invested a lot in, into that. You can see here, um, nothing... Uh, it's almost all modifiers again, just one from the building, and and same same with that. So we don't have uh, a lot of actual um, culture generation, so to speak. Um, it looks like I am getting a a culture modification from the amount of faith that I'm generating, and that modifier is coming from um, the Void Singer uh, second tier ability 
there where um, because I'm, I'm generating a lot of faith, uh, I'm getting 20% of my faith generation uh, added to my gold science and culture. So before grabbing that ability, which was just unlocked in the medieval era, which wasn't that long ago since we're on turn 136, uh, I was generating even less than this 44 culture per turn. And the fun thing about a, a Scizorane bonus like this is that it um, it's flexible. You can use it to actually go with like not going down the culture route, or you can use it to accelerate out, uh, you know, a lot more culture than you would normally have. Now, in this game, I was able to to really sort of go low ball on culture because I also selected um, uh, an a Sanzi as my um, as my my hero so that also uh helped out uh, anansi i'm sorry so uh that obviously gave me some boost there but um you know like 10 percent, you know here of a building you know for this university I, I would gain 25 culture off of building that university so if you multiply that by the number of you know the number of buildings that you're building so here i'd gain 12 off that temple and you can sort of see how uh, that uh, would add up just from building buildings that you were going to build anyway. So, um, so that is a fun little city state that I would um, recommend uh, adding to your city state selector list if you haven't given them a try before. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope everyone's enjoying the update and have a safe and happy holiday. Uh, Evil Pajama is out. Oh, also, uh, if you want to like and subscribe, that'd be great as well. Uh, anyway, have a great holiday.